You want to become the woman that you've always wanted to be. And if you are watching this video, I want you to know I'm so proud of you because if you're watching this video, it means that you are about to get everything that you've always wanted. You know, most people watch the, how do I get him to text me back? Or like, how, what's the magic pill to success? And they watch these things on repeat, but what they don't do is they don't tend to look at how do I make the deep changes inside of me? How do I face the uncomfortable truths? And so those are the people that won't find the success that they want. And here you are here with me. You're about to get all the success, all of the things that you've ever wanted. Because when you change you, um, when you become the person that you need to become, you easily and effortlessly attract all that you desire. And what I find is when you step into your feminine dominance as a key component to this transformation, everything happens at rapid speed. It happens very, very quickly. And on that note, hi everyone, it is me, Pamela, aka The Awakened Aphrodite, and I am here to help you explode, explode, explode your bank account and your love life through the use of hypnosis, teaching you feminine dominance, and all of the best tools to create deep, everlasting transformation inside of you. So, and hi, we have someone saying, big fan, you are so awesome. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here with me. So here's the deal. When you become the woman that you want to be, when you step into this beautiful feminine dominance, right, which really is this ability to relax into the feminine, right, relax into the feminine, into your feminine flow, into your feminine genius, and at the same time, be present, be there, be in command of your power of your magic of your presence this ability to ask for what you want to show up to call in that which you desire with pure ease it is the most delicious combination and becoming the woman that you want involves tapping into your dominance in my opinion and i really see this time and time again where people struggle to tap into not only their dominance, but who they actually want to be and how they want to show up in the world. And knowing how to tap into your dominance is the key that is really going to help unlock everything that you desire in the way that I specifically teach it. Also, I do have one spot open, only one spot open, um, for a brand new offering. It's a one year mentorship with me. It is a deep dive. We will be speaking on an almost daily basis. Like this is really deep and transformational. A lot of my clients that have done this level of work with me have gotten the things that they've wanted in a month <laughs> or less in some cases. And so this is only for you if you're like, oh no, I'm fucking ready and I'm willing to show up and do what it takes. So send me a DM on Instagram. I'm ready so that you can apply for the only spot available. So here is the thing. The fact that you're even asking the question, the fact that you're even watching this, how do I become the woman that I've always wanted to be means you are going to be successful, means you are successful because only people that ask the question, how do I become, how do I take responsibility? How do I become this person? How do I fully show up as the person I want to be? Those are the people that become the most successful always. So welcome. Congratulations. I want to celebrate you. And I want to celebrate you so deeply for even having the thought. So Unsuccessful people literally never wonder, how do I become the woman that I want to be? They don't. 
Um, they never think that. They just blame other people or they blame other circumstances or things like this, but they never really look at, you know, how do I become this woman? The way that you become the woman that you've always wanted to be, very simply, is one, look at what does that even mean, right? What does that actually mean to you? Where have you given away your strength? Where have you given away your power? Where have you given away your desire, right? Because being the woman that I know you want to be means being a strong woman, means being a powerful woman, means being an intuitive woman, means being a turned on woman, a desire filled woman, a woman who can move and adapt in any circumstance, a woman that loves adventure, right? And also can relax into the nothingness that is existence itself. A woman that can really create no matter what the situation, right? So you really want to look at where have you lost your way? When did you stop believing that you create your experience, that you get to create your reality, that you're in charge of your own felt experience in the world, that you're in charge of your own sensations. And the most important question that you want to really ask yourself in becoming the woman that you really want to be is when did you stop loving? I'm not done, honey. When did you stop loving you? When did you stop loving you? When did you stop wanting more for yourself than what you have? When did you give up and force yourself to settle believing that there wasn't anything more, anything better? for you to experience, or maybe being afraid that there isn't. That's the real question. Because when you are the woman that I know you want to be, you know that there's never ending love and abundance. And the only thing that you have to decide is how you want to experience that love and that abundance. How you want to be in it every moment of every day. How you want to welcome it in. How you want to receive it because it's already there. What's the channel that you want to tap in order to allow it to flow in? What's your medium that you're choosing to be in the receiving of it? And it's already there. And also knowing that you don't have to do any of these things, but instead, this is what you've chosen. You've chosen to receive love in these ways. You've chosen to receive abundance in these ways. And getting you into this place where you begin to believe again, you begin to create again. Because the woman that you want to be is the woman who creates against all odds. Is the woman that creates no matter what. Who loves herself first and before anything else no matter what and you know the thing that I really just want to name here is I see this so much with women in relationship oh but I love him more than anything 
Yeah, but baby, you don't love yourself. In many cases, not always, right? Putting someone else before you is exactly the problem, right? Or can be in the example that I gave. So instead, can we get you back to love? Can we get you back to really asking yourself the question moment to moment? Okay, but what would the woman that I desire to be do? What would she say? How would she be showing up right now? The woman that has everything that I've ever wanted, how would she handle this situation? How would she show up? What would she ask for? And when you can do that every single day, you magically wake up in a world where you have all of the things that you want because you are the one who creates. Mm. So what is it that you want? What is it that you want? Because sometimes this portal starts with wants. Right? You might not love your body, for example. You might not love what you do. You might not love where you're at in relationship. So can we get you into desire going, well, I want to look at my belly and love my belly. I want to be in partnership with someone who also looks at my body and loves my body. That is a beautiful place to start. And then can we get you into the reality of your desires? Okay. I love you so, so much. And I want to hear from you below. Please comment below. Um, And if this spot has been open for you, and if you feel that in your heart and your soul, then send me a DM on Instagram. I'm ready so that I can welcome you into the palace, into this portal of deep transformation. And I'm excited to see you and meet you. And thank you for being here. You know, whether it's day or night, I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you for being here with me.